Today we'll take a look at creating a probe from a result and then taking that probe and turning it into an expression. We'll begin with a shell mesh model which we have a constraint and a load on and here you can see a result of 0 0.012 inches for a uh, a magnitude uh, result, not a particular vector. So what we'll do to create our probe is first create a result variable. This will be our displacement results. We can filter that by the solution that we have. We'll select displacement and we'll select the data type of vector and go for magnitude because it's the magnitude of the displacement that we're interested in. And then we'll take uh, the rest of the defaults for the dialog to get our displacement variable. Now we can use that displacement variable to create a probe. So here we'll go ahead and create our probe. We'll call it max displacement. And we'll use that displacement formula that we just created. We can select the load case. We only have one in this model. We'll look at the entire model, uh, combine across entities to find the maximum and we'll go ahead and create output. And there we can see that 0 0.0121 that we saw earlier in our displacement magnitude result. So so that's fine but if we take a look at our expression results or our expressions in the sim we'll see that there is no max disp uh, result here it doesn't automatically create an expression from that result probe. If we want one, what we can do is create one. We'll call it max disp, and here we need to use the FD operation and then type in the name of our probe in both parentheses and quote quotation marks. And there you can see, uh, once we have the dimensionality uh, correct, which it is by default inches in length, but if we were going for a pressure result, that would uh, require a change in the dimensionality for our expression. So there you can see our, our max disp expression. And that concludes the demonstration.